Hello everybody, this is Tangslash2011 and welcome to a new, another video. This is going to be a download tutorial on how to install the newest B9 Aerospace Pack for Kerbal Space Program 0.24.2. Also, this is going to be a little bit of a uh, new thing. So basically, if you people do not know how to run your KSP 64-bit and you have a 64-bit processor, um, you might want to stay tuned for I will show you that in a few minutes. So, to get the pack, I am just now going to go over to my Chrome, and I have Notepad up because it's way too long of any links. So I have the Kerbal Space Program page, and I'm just going to go over, I'm going to copy the link, and now we're going to put it up here. So now we're at the B9 Aerospace newest pack, and as you can see, we got a whole bunch of new, pretty things. Yeah. You know. That stuff. So, if you scroll down to the bottom, you get this stuff. On this page, you will also get the Active Texture Management mod link, but it's a little bit hard to find it. So, you get this. Well, you get on this thing, and then you see the link that says download. Right here. Go over to this place. And you get B9 Aerospace. You get this one. Not the depredicated parts, but this one. If you basically... The depredicated parts... They're basically, if you don't want to lose any of your old ships, due to, um a new, according to the new mod, you won't be able to use any of your um, old ships, then you want to get the depredicated parts as well as this one. It won't add any copies with the depredicated parts, it'll just add the old data to the old parts. So I'll talk about, I'll talk about that in a minute. So after you install it, I'm just going to act like I've installed it. Click. And so now you, if you have Chrome and Windows 8, you'll see this thing coming up, it'll come down. But since we don't have that, I'm just going to go over to my downloads. And now, yeah, I got a few other things. We're going to look down here. You want to look for the Tiberius B9 Aerospace. You're going to click that, you get this. This is not your game data folder. This is not your game data. Click this, you get all these sources and ships and things. For the ships, you know how to do that. You just open it up into Space Plane Hanger, drag it select all these things and put them into your um, space plane hangar parts and source don't really need to worry about that I don't know what that is change log is just well I'll change log right here read me this is some installation instructions but meh I'm just gonna work on installing this so yeah should to talk about that later. um we're just gonna go over to games today. You get all this stuff. Now it even comes with the depredicated stuff, so that even removes the need to install it from the depredicated bucket. So now we have this. I'm just gonna close my Chrome now. And now we have this game data. Get, get down. <laughs> all right. So now we have B9 Aerospace. Crossfeed Enabler, Fire Spitter, JSI, Kind Tech Animation, Clockhead Martian, MP Nazari, Rest Gen, Smoke Screen, and Virgin Galactic. All those things you're going to need. Unless you want your old parts to work. You're going to go over to your Steam. You're going to look for Kerbal Space Program. You probably know how to do this. Now you're just going to go over to Properties, Local Files, and Browse Local Files directly into the spot where you get all this stuff. Now, before I go any further, for those of you that have a 64-bit processor and you want to play Kerbal Space Program 64-bit, just have to scroll down a little bit. KSP 64 right there. Right under KSP, both KSP, right on top of the KSP launcher. If you don't have the KSP launcher, then I don't know where it'd be. Um, yeah, that's just a crash file. Don't worry about that. Um, go over to game data. Then here, you put in all your mod files from here. As you see, I've already done that. 
Now, let's say we want the Active Texture Replacer mod. So I'm just going to close this. Now for the Texture Replacer, it's this mod. This mod page. I'm terribly sorry, I'm having trouble trying to... There we go. So now we're going to copy and open up our browser again. Go over to paste and go. So now we have point twenty four release three point three 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 one active texture management. We have all these things, he even says that B9 aerospace is in the configs. Now yeah. This is gonna get really confusing because he doesn't have a how to install thing. I mean he does talk about the configs, but the texture management thing will already work without the configs. So you're you're at this spot, you scroll down a little bit, and you're at downloads. I'm using the stable basic and it's working just fine. T stable aggressive, I'm not sure what it's going to do. I'm not gonna try it because it might hurt my um graphics in the game, which that'd be really bad for the mission to do next series. Um also I have a little bit of bad news to tell you at the end of the video. Um so yeah, we're just gonna download stable basic. I've already done that. So I'm gonna go over to our downloads. So now you'll see x64 release basic dot zip. You're gonna click on that. Um, for my computer, it already gets the file unzipped, so that way you get game data folder. You open up game data. You get Boulder Co and Advanced Texture Management. Boulder Co. If we go over here, we get Active Texture Manager configs. You do not put this inside your um, inside your Environmental Visual Enhancements um, mod file. It will crash your game. You will have to restart your computer. You just go to Active Texture Management. You don't do anything here. You just go into Game Data. Forget that Boulder Co. was even there. In fact, you could even delete it and it'd be safe. Go, just drag this off. Into your game data. And you know, it's just drag and drop. And all I'm doing for drag and drop is clicking and holding on active texture management and dragging. You get a little icon, you can move it to a desktop. You're not going to. Move over to here, you see I already have it. I'm not going to replace all the files because I think there's like a change that happens. Yeah, that's basically how you install B9 Aerospace. So now all you have to do, I accidentally closed it, you have to go over to here, properties, local files, browse local files, and then we just scroll down and launch KSP. Now for a quicker way, you can move you can copy this and put it down here. What I did was I launched Cobble Space Program, it wasn't already here, then I alt tabbed out. And then I click, and then I right-clicked on it, and I clicked on pin from taskbar. I mean, clin to taskbar, which um, I'm not sure if it'll be able to work. Uh, I will not be able to use a, um, I will not be able to make a Mac tutorial because I don't have Mac. Still planning on using Mac anytime soon. Um, that's basically it. Now for some bad news. When I first tried to install the B9 Aerospace newest pack, I forgot to put in the texture replacer mods. And it basically corrupted the file that I had my Mission to Duna mods in. So, we're going to have to do a restart on the Mission to Duna, but don't worry, our points that I'm calculating for the lander and the probe are still counted although we will I will have to delay the video for some editing so that way I can get the get the lander back in there get the probe over the orbit again which is gonna be incredibly difficult and a few other things won't take too long probably might get the video probably sometime next week or this week uh, depending on how much homework I have. Uh, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. So, I can say that this video is now complete. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Tangsus2011, signing out. <laughs>